gives light to our days. Many are the blessings he bears to those who trust in his ways. Good afternoon, sisters and brothers, and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, and welcome to our celebration of the Holy Eucharist. We begin our celebration. We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, let us now acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you were dead in your transgressions and sins, in which you once lived following the age of this world, following the ruler of the power of the air, the spirit that is now at work in the disobedient. All of us once lived among them in the desires of our flesh, following the wishes of the flesh and the impulses and we were by nature children of wrath like the rest. But God, who is rich in mercy because of the great love He had for us, even when we were dead in our transgressions, brought us to life with Christ. By grace, You have been saved, raised us up with Him, and seated us with Him in the heavens in Christ Jesus, that in the ages to come, He might show the immeasurable riches of His grace in His kindness to us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from you. It is the gift of God. It is not from works, so no one may boast. For we are His handiwork, created in Christ Jesus for good works that God has prepared in advance, that we should live in them. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord made us, we belong to Him. The Lord made us, we belong to Him. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him with joyful song. The Lord made us, we belong to Him. Know that the Lord is God. He made us, His we are, His people, the flock He tends. The Lord made us, we belong to Him. Enter His gates with thanksgiving, His courts with praise. The Lord made us, we belong to Him. Give thanks to Him. Bless His name, for He is good, the Lord whose kindness endures forever and His faithfulness to all generations. The Lord made us, we belong to Him. Please stand. Blessed are the poor in spirit, 
for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Someone in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, tell my brother to share the inheritance with me. He replied to him, Friend, who appointed me as your judge and arbitrator? Then he said to the crowd, Take care to guard against all greed, for though one may be rich, one's life does not consist of possessions. Then he told them a parable. There was a rich man whose land produced a bountiful harvest. He asked himself, What shall I do? For I do not have space to store my harvest. And he said, This is what I shall do. I shall tear down my barns and build larger ones. There, I shall store all my grain and other goods, and I shall say to myself, Now as for you, you have so many good things stored up for many years. Rest, eat, drink, be merry. But God said to him, You fool, this night your life will be demanded of you, and the things you have prepared to whom will they belong? Thus will it be for the one who stores up treasure for himself, but is not rich in what matters to God. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang hapon po muli sa ating lahat. Minsan po tumawag ang aking tatay sa akin. Ibinalita niya na ang kanyang ng aking lolo ay pumanaw na. And I ask, paano namatay si lolo? And he said, kumain siya ng agahan, inantok, humiga ulit. Hindi na siya gumising. And my expression was, what a good death. What a good death. I said that because I was thinking, ganda naman ang pagkamatay ni Lolo, hindi siya nahirapan, hindi siya nasaktan, natulog lang. Then he was taken by the Lord. And that is why those were my words. What a good death. But then, suddenly my father replied, he had a good death because he lived a good life. Sabi niya ganon. He had a good death because he lived a good life. I am sharing this to you because that experience of mine is something for me was very enlightening when we talk about the reality of death. Yung katotohanan ng kamatayan. You know, Ang katotohanan ng kamatayan para sa atin is something very odd and very parang weird. Kasi kadalasan ayaw natin pag-usapan yung kamatayan. Yun yung reality. Ayaw natin pag-usapan yun. But then at the same time, meron tayong tendency to revere yung kamatayan. I'm going to give you an example. Kapag pinag-usapan yung mga imahe ng mga santo, ilan lamang po ang merong devotion sa image na buhay. Halimbawa, the resurrected Christ. Sino dito merong devotion sa resurrected Christ? Iilan. Pero, yung scene ng kamatayan, yung pagkapako sa krus, o nagbubuhat sa krus, case in point, yung image 
sa Quiapo, the Nazareno. It's a scene of death, an image of a dying man. Pero ang daming may devotion. Kita nyo, ayaw natin pag-usapan, but at the same time, we revere it. Yung ating pambansang awit, it ends about death. Ang mamatay ng dahil sa'yo. It does not talk about ang mabuhay ng dahil sa'yo. Merong irony behind. But the reality is, ayaw natin pag-usapan yung death. And I think this is because we don't fully sometimes understand what death is. Kasi madalas, para sa atin yung kamatayan is something that is alien or a stranger to us. That death is not something part of us. It is coming toward us, but it is not part of us. But then I think this is a wrong notion of death. Because you see, my, sis my dear sisters and brothers, death is very much a part of of life. The moment we began to breathe life here on earth, death was already there. It is already part of us. That is why we should not be treating death as something that is alien or stranger from us. How should we treat it? It's very much part of our life. And, it's, and it is that part of life where we transcend or, wo or we go beyond life. Kaya nga ang buhay natin, hindi maaring mabuhay because of death. Nabubuhay tayo because of that life after death. Yun yung dapat reason natin behind kung bakit tayo nabubuhay ngayon. Kaya nga siguro yung tatay ko nung sinabi niyang ang lolo mo merong good death kasi meron siyang magandang buhay because he was thinking of how they were treated by my lolo. He was a good father. And because of that, he is expecting and he is praying that my lolo would receive that life after death. Kaya nga it's a good death. So ito yung reason behind bakit tayo nabubuhay. Ito yung pagtutuunan natin ng pansin. Kaya nga ang gusto ng ating simbahan, ating inang simbahan, iiwasan natin yung culture of death na tinatawag. Yung bang nabubuhay ako kasi mamamatay ako kay nakbukin na bukasan. And that is why I am storing everything that would somehow protect me from death kasi it is alien from me. It is not part of me, kaya lang padating siya, kaya naghahanda ako para sa kanya. That you will come to a point that you are going to realize that you are full of everything for the life before death. Kaya lang kulang ka dun sa life after death na hindi ka na nakapaghanda. Kasi yun yung iniisip mo. The end would be death. Kaya nga ang tanong sa atin, ano ba yung pinaghahandaan natin talaga sa buhay ngayon? How are we living our lives? Is it because we are dying? Kaya ako naghahanda? Or is it because I am living after death? Kaya ako merong pinaghahandaan ngayon? One time, one of our brothers in the convent died. And... When we entered his room, one of the priests said, Alam mo, ganito pala yung buhay, ano? Ang dami nating gamit na naimbak sa buhay natin ngayon. But when you die, ang daladala mo, isang pantalon, isang damit, isang sutana mo. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. And why is that? Because death is not what we are preparing for in life. It is that life after death. So sisters and brothers, 
If we could imagine ourselves today. If we could imagine. Paano kaya kung nasa loob na tayo ng kabaong ngayon? <laughs> Katakot isipin na no, nakalaten tayo sa kabaong natin. What do you think? Would we be experiencing a good death? Kakatakot. But I tell you, why don't we ask ourselves, are we living a good life right now? Are we living a life that is worth that life after death, that life with our Lord and our God in heaven? I think that is the question that we should be answering in our very own lives today. Please all stand. With unlimited confidence in God's care for us, we open our hearts to our Heavenly Father for the gift of wisdom in order that we may realize what is truly important in life. In every petition, let our answer be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. The Holy Father, our bishops, priests, and religious, we continue to make the presence of Christ known in the world through the simplicity of their lifestyles. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That justice and equality may be promoted through effective political social and economic reforms let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer that we may be sensitive towards the disadvantage and may we learn to share our riches with the poor let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer that those who are sick or suffering may experience the richness of god's presence in their lives let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer that in your mercy, Lord, grant light, peace, and eternal rest to those who have died. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now in the silence of our hearts, we offer our personal and our particular intentions, and we also pray for the intentions of this Mass. God, our Father, we thank you for the abundance of your blessings. Help us to handle responsibly the possessions you have given us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. Through Christ, 
our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so, it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his assistant bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with Saint Dominic and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we all dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, 
but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit we offer each other the sign of peace Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, the Son of Mary. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter, enter under my roof, roof but only I say the word, the word, and my soul shall, shall be healed. healed. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please kneel. We shall now pray the Oratio Imperata. Together. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has claimed lives and has affected many. We pray for your grace for the people tasked with studying the nature and cause of this virus and its disease and of stemming the tide of its transmission. Guide the hands and minds of medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion 
and of those governments and private agencies that must find cure and solution to this pandemic. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Grant us the grace to work for the good of all and to help those in need. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Mary, help of all Christians. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. Saint Rock. Pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Please stand. Bago po tayo magtapos ng ating misa, ako po yung magpapasalamat sa ating lector commentator, sa ating acolyte and Eucharistic minister, at sa inyong lahat po na nakiisa sa misa ito. Maraming maraming salamat po. Ingat po tayo sa ating pag-uwi at nawabaunin niyo po ang pagpapala ng ating Panginoong Diyos sa pamamagitan ng ating mahal na ina, ang Birhen ng Santo Rosario ng Manawag. Muli po, maraming maraming salamat. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We all go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick and the blessing of our rosaries and other religious articles. Our helps in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness towards our sisters and brothers. Freed them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that, in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ and Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, May these rosaries, images, candles, oils, and other religious articles, our devotees and pilgrims, be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.